Uh, hi everyone, and thank you for being here on this important day to give uh, the message loud and clear to Priti Patel and the Home Office and the entire British government that they should do the right thing. They should block this extradition. It is a political case and it has a political solution. And that is to end this now. Julian has done nothing wrong. He's been put in a British prison. The UK is imprisoning a journalist. And for all the spin uh, that is attempted, this is a the press freedom case of the century and it's playing out in the middle of London. Priti Patel has the power to stop this, she should stop this, but actually the British government could stop this at any moment, even if she signs the papers, because the extradition itself is in clear breach of Article 4 of the US-UK extradition treaty. They are acting in violation of this treaty by even entertaining it through the courts. So this has a political solution at any point. The political will of the British government will make all the difference here. Now the British government is rightly calling for uh, people with evidence of war crimes in Ukraine to step forward. They're rightly calling for investigations into war crimes. They're rightly calling for accountability for war crimes. Well, Julian revealed war crimes. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about one war crime that doesn't get much attention. And I'm not talking about collateral murder, which you all know about. I'm talking about the Ishaki massacre in Iraq, a village in which 11 people in a house were executed, bullets to the head, they were handcuffed, four of them were women, and five of them were children aged five and under. They were killed in a raid by the US military. And we know this because the UN wrote to the US government asking for an investigation, asking for information. And the US government just ignored them. That is an unpunished war crime committed by US military personnel in Iraq. And in fact, that event led to the Iraqi government ending the immunity deal that it had with the United States. It's important to remember that these aren't just publications in the abstract. These are tens of thousands of human casualties. Just imagine, visualize it. Piles upon piles of human corpses. That's what we're talking about. No accountability. And the only person who is suffering the consequences of these revelations is the person who did the right thing to put it into the public domain because the victims of war don't get any justice. The only justice they can hope for is for the truth of their victimhood being known. And by putting Julian in prison, they're trying to bury the record of their wrongdoing. And they're trying to silence everyone. They can't. That's right. Courage is contagious. We're going to fight this, whatever happens in this building. This is a just cause. what happens in that building. will speak for itself. But we're reaching now the end game. There are still appeals ahead. 
if Pretty Patel signs this. And I ask you all to rally, fight harder, find new ways to fight. We constantly have to reinvent this fight for justice, this fight for he freedom. I brought my kids today, partly because uh, I couldn't get to childcare in time, but also because I want them to see the incredible support that their father has. We love Julian Assange, and love Estella, and love the little children. We love you! We love you! We love you! Julian Assange, Estella, little children, we love you! I ask you to fight harder, shout louder, until he is free. We've won this before. We will win this again. Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange.